Hi beauties, it's Jean Persani with Beauty and the Stamper and I decided I wanted to do a DIY and share it with you guys. So I've got all of this stuff and let's go ahead and see. I'm trying to get this on. Okay, there we go. So I saw this plate and I was totally inspired by the design and then the matching bowl and then I found one of these. It's a magnetic um, little tin, but it's plastic. But it's in a perfect color to match. I had a empty candle jar that I wanted to do a DIY with. I have some of the Arteza paints, which after the video is done, I'll put a link if you wanted to get some of those. I've got other Arteza paints. I've got, of course, my palette from Shy's Art. And then some gemstone stickers from Dollar Tree. And I also found some pom-pom ribbon uh, from Target that I had. I'm just going through my stash. I have one of these little guys here, which is a candle holder. And then I have another candle holder in white and I just want to decorate them all so this is what I've done I went ahead and got my glue gun all hot and what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna use the plate first as an inspiration and I'll tell you what to start with I'm gonna go ahead and take this plate and do what I always do and flip it over so hello Tony and Lana and Patricia I know it's been a long time, and I love these colors. This is just, I wanted to get on, I wanted to say hello, and I was going to do a full video, but I'm like, I might as well just craft with everybody. I think that would be fun. So, that's what we're going to do. So, of course, I'm going to do what I always do, and I'm going to take that and flip it over, and then I'm going to just make my first piece. And what I'm going to do is I've already cleaned this all up and I'm going to put that hot glue all the way around and this is going to be my first piece. And then this is the piece that I will use as inspiration. And I'm just going to center that up as best possible. Stick that on there and you are not going to believe how beautiful of a little... Oy, that got... That got cold too quick. Okay. Let's do this again. I cannot put my heat gun away because it got cold too quick. So I'm going to put a thick amount on here and then we'll get it on there again. But, oh my gosh, at the end, I'm going to put some pictures on my Instagram and you will definitely see. Oh no, I'm so scared that it's going to get too cold. Okay, there we go. Let's do this quick. I'm going to flip it over. Center it up best as I can. Okay, it's still cool. Oh, thank you. That's craftable. So there we go. Now, look at how pretty that is. Just on its own. It's a great little tray, but I'm still going to doctor it up a little bit. I'm going to get some of these little gemstones here. I know, I always make stuff upside down, but that's because when I turn it right side up, it comes out so pretty. So I don't know how much you'll be able to see of this, but I'm going to put little gems on the inside of each of these little guys here and I will show you again finished product and I love the Dollar Tree gems because you just can I want to be able to show you all you have to do is stick that right on there right where you want it and then pull it off and look at see how nice that comes out and it's just a little bit of you know, a little bit of decoration. So we're going to go all the way around. Oh, Lonnie, you're so sweet. 
<laughs> I'll quickly go around. So, how's everyone doing? And where are you all from? So, I'd like to know. I know, I do everything upside down. And I know, I'm sorry you can't see what I'm doing here. But in my next project, I will. I have four different little projects. And they're all going to coincide. They're all going to look really pretty together. We're almost done here. Kentucky, Alabama, Georgia. Nice. South Georgia. Look at that. Isn't that so pretty? Just adding that one little bit of diamonds on there. I'm going to set that off to the side. And we're just going to use that as our, um, as our inspiration. So I'm going to put these off to the side as well. And then I'm going to... Well, I'm going to do my painting last. So I've got this little guy here. And I'm going to take this off and we're going to paint this shortly. But let's go ahead and decorate this so it'll match with that little bowl because it's already got the color, right? So we've got South Carolina, Florida. Hi, Danielle. Hi, Nellie. Oh, Nellie, I didn't know you were in South Carolina. Isn't that funny how you, like talk to these people, you know, and all you beauties I talk to you all the time, follow you on different social media, and now I find out <laughs> that you're from South Carolina. So, all right, I'm saving the hardest piece for last, so the first piece, I'm just going to take this, I'm going to wrap it around here, and I don't know, that plate is kind of just gives me that boho feeling. So that's what I'm going with, and if pom-pom ribbons don't scream boho, I don't know what does. So I'm going to use my little Dollar Tree crafting scissors that I got. Seems to work okay. And then I'm going to put where I want my front. I'm going to do right, uh, right here for my front. I'm going to go down just a bit, and I'm going to go across like this. And then I'm going to grab my middle and put that right where I want it. There we go. And then we'll go all the way around. I'm trying to keep it as straight as possible. I'm making sure the pom-poms don't get into the glue. So, little trick or tip. So, I had another one of these and I started trying to color it with the markers. This stuff came right off. So, two things I figured out. One is if you don't want it to come off, don't do that. And then the other is, if you do want it to come off, you can make some like nice little hearts or shapes in there. That would be really cool. All right, let me see here. Hi, Debbie. Oh, West Virginia. What part of West Virginia? Hi, Deborah. Hi, Melissa. Oh. <laughs> Has your husband hot glued his fingers yet? <laughs> all right, let's get this all the way around now. And look, just putting that little thing on there is super cute. And if you get any gl uh, hot glue where it doesn't belong, it just comes right off. So you could be done. You could add some little... Uh, gems if you'd like to make it all just go together on this one I think we will add some little gems and I'm actually going to put them up toward the top and we're just going to 
go all the way around. A lot of people in Georgia. You guys can all get together and craft. And I have to go visit Georgia and have a craft day there. So look how cute. And just line that one up there. I love to watch you girls and boys talking and just becoming friends. We're all beauties. Let's do this. So there we go. That's a cute little and we could always add more if we want to, but I'm going to stick with that for that piece. And then for this one here, I wanted to do um, some more of the the possible bobble. Let me see, because look how cute that is. The little pom-poms. The only thing I'm having an issue with is you can see through the back. So um, you'll be able to see the glue. And I'm trying to think of... Uh, what you'd put in it that would cover it if you were doing flowers or something like that, it would be okay. Thank you. Hi, Cindy. Oh, you're in Salt Lake. I'm up there. Well, not as much anymore, but at least once a year. So that's where... I usually go for um, stamping up and then Tony's family's from there as well. So, all right, let's go ahead and move on with this. We're going to do the same exact thing. We're just going to find the what we want the top to be and then move rather quickly because of the glue on the glass. That is just so cute. I don't think I'm going to add any gems to these. And these are all really quick projects. The last one that I'm going to do is going to really be the one that takes some time. But oh my gosh, if it comes out the way I want it to, which who knows, it's going to be so cute. And Diana is from Missouri. Welcome. So I have a question for any of you guys that receive my newsletter. Um, two questions. One is, did you get my newsletter today? And two is, do you check your, if you're subscribed to my newsletter and don't get it, have you checked your spam? Because for some reason, my um, newsletters are not all getting open in it. I want to make sure that you guys are getting them if you opted into getting them. So there we go. Look at the back. You can barely tell. So all the way around. Of course we've got little spider webs, but we'll get rid of those pretty easily. And isn't that just so cute all by itself with that little white down at the bottom here? Hi Shirley! Ah, oh, Denise is making her way out to Memphis at the end of the month. So, right here is the next piece, and I'm just going to leave it as is. I want everything to be cohesive, but this is the piece that I wanted. And this, again, it's a it's an empty candle jar from probably Michael's or uh, Walmart, one of the two. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take some scissors 
and I'm just going to stick this under here and pop it off. And once you get that first part popped off, this comes off rather easily. And then I'm going to get this little guy here. And now we're moving into our paints. So first things first, I am going to add some more pom-pom. I know you guys are probably tired of pom-pom, but I just want everything to kind of be cohesive. And the pom-poms are so cute. And they're just adorable. So now they're not hanging as straight because we've gotten to the bottom. But I want to get these all the way down at the bottom, all the way around. Notice I keep using different scissors. I've got piles of scissors over here. Alrighty. And I'm going to put this right at the top. Let me just show you real quick before I glue this. You can fill this with anything you want because it is a tin. So if you wanted to put something in there to decorate with, you can. But I'm just going to use it as a base. So, But even as a base if you wanted to because this is glass, you'll be able to see right through it. I'm going to put this right along the top here. I want those pom poms to be facing down. So there we go. I love this color too. If you saw, I have so much in this color. Um, it's a Tiffany blue, that's why. And I love Tiffany. I don't know if Tony's still on here, but he will tell you <laughs> that I love Tiffany. So I got my wedding ring is from Tiffany. I've got my um, glasses are from Tiffany. <laughs> so everything is this color blue. And people ask me, what's your favorite color? And uh, apparently glitter is not a color. So then I have to go with Tiffany blue. So it's specifically this color. So be careful because of course we are working with hot glue. Well, he must have left because I thought he would reply to that straight away and have some kind of guff for me. Okay, so now we've got this part done and I'm going to go ahead and add a few. I'm not going to put... Um, beads all the way around like I did. I'm just going to put a few here and there. But I am going to use the whole big lot. And I'm going to go in between each of the pom poms. Let me get this out of the way. Hi, Kathleen. Oh, Tony is there. He's just being good. Okay. <laughs> I bet that's hard, right? You don't want to say anything about my Tiffany addiction? <laughs> Alright, there we go. So, again, I'm just putting these right in between. And we are just doing a craft along evening. So let me know. I mean, this is a, a basically a Dollar Tree DIY. And I had to think about if I wanted to do it live or if I wanted to do it 
um, recorded and I just thought it would be fun to hang out with anybody that came on the live tonight. <laughs> I don't think he knew. I think that was the, the, the catch. He did not know at first. You have to wait until you're a couple of years in. Alright, so there we go. Isn't that cute? I mean, even if you just used it like this, it is super cute. And just to put on a refrigerator, and you can decorate these however you'd like. So we've got the base. And then this, we're going to flip it over. And we're not going to put the, the um, candle part on yet because I want to get this in there and then we'll do some the main piece so if you haven't if you missed the beginning I don't know live starts you right where it's live right so you constantly just stay up to date all right I'm gonna put this right above there we go. That fits so nicely. Ah! So there's that. Now, what I'm going to do is take this and glue it to that. Look how pretty that is just by itself. Isn't that gorgeous just by itself? But I wanted it to match with the plate and the tray. So I'm going to grab that again so we can... Anybody who just joined can see my inspiration is from this plate. And then, of course, we made it into a pedestal plate um, and added some gems to that. So this is the inspiration. I'm going to move this off to the side. And then I'm going to take this. Now, I've got some little um, daubers. Of course... No matter what I do, I always manage to, to get some Stampin' Up! stuff in there. I think if I didn't have Stampin' Up! and Arteza stuff, I probably wouldn't have so much to craft with. <laughs> Alright, and then I've got some of those same colors. I got the dark blue, a sapphire blue, and then I got this yellow green. It's supposed to come out in like a teal. Um, it's not supposed to, but I think if I put these two together, we might get a teal. And then I have a little stencil. And I'm going to use the stencil. If you don't have one, you don't have to. This is a retired Stampin' Up! stencil. So back to the Stampin' Up! again. But I'm just going to put this right over here. And then I'm going to take some post-it tape. And we're going to put that post-it tape on there to hold it in place. So, and I'm probably, I'm going to actually go along here because I'm not going to go all the way to the edge of the stencil. Oh, I'm crafting all the time. You know, I think, I think because people do different crafts, that they don't see like the card making to me that's crafting so I do that a lot I, I enjoy that and then um, I'm gonna start doing planning again I know that one was um, out of the out of the loop for a while I had some planning and then COVID hit and I'm just like ma so I put this down and it's not really sticking that great so I'm probably going to, oh, no, it's stuck okay. But I don't want it to lift. So I'm going to put some more. I'm going to take a long strip and hold it down. From, oh, let's go here to here. Oh, yeah, it worked. There we go. So now I've got that on there. And I'm going to take... This guy here. What happened? The video stopped working? 
Is it still not working? Let me see. There we go. Hopefully that'll, it, it gave me a, um, what did it do? It gave me a warning that my uh, phone, but I have it plugged in, so I don't know what's going on. Maybe it doesn't work. Maybe the phone doesn't charge when you're doing that. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead, and now i got to make this quick. I'm going to add that green in there. And then I'm going to go with some of the pearl sapphire to try and get that teal color. Now, I'm not a mixologist when it comes to paint. I'm not a mixologist when it comes to anything. <laughs> but, well, that is making it into a dark green, and that's not what I want. So I'm going to get some more of this green. And maybe that will lighten it. It's still going dark. I got some titanium white to lighten that up too. Oh, there we go. bit better. It's not really a Tiffany blue, but we've got some actually, well not Tiffany, we've got uh, the pearl blue. So I'm going to put a little bit there. And then I've got a dark blue. Open this up. Oh! Okay. Melissa, let us know how the surgery goes. I, I'll, I'll go ahead and add you to my prayers so that everything, everything uh, goes out just the way you want it. So, thank you for stopping by. All right, so I've got these colors. I've got this guy, and I'm going to get my dauber. And we're going to go, I'm going to, I don't know if you can see where the areas are. Let me grab, I'm going to grab a piece of white paper to put behind there so you can see. Well, this is vanilla paper, it's not white, but it should work. Yay, you guys, see, come on here and you're going to go into surgery with all your prayers from your beauties. That's beautiful. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to do this all the way around here and probably just work into this area. I don't think, yeah, it won't fit any any of the other areas, so that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to go with a from dark to light. So even though I'm going to, it starts in the center, I'm going to wait for that. And we're going to go with our green here. And this is down pretty firm. I'm going to push that against here. And we're going to go with just putting these in the area where they would look nice. And it's going to put a little mandala on there. I'm going straight up and down so that it doesn't get underneath, hopefully. And you never know until the finished product, but um, with the acrylic paints, you can always take it off with um, like a Q-tip or something similar to that. And then I'm going to go in here 
with this one. So I'm going to take a, a second to to go back and forth. So if I'm not um, tapping on this, then I'm reading your your uh, words because I want to be able to hear. Oh, Donna, I'm sure Melissa is thankful for that. Ontario, nice. Hi, Jane. Hi, Sarah. All right. So we're back to doing this. And I know this is going to take just a little while, but at least we get to talk and chit chat. Always make sure you tap off any extra. So there we go. I'm going to put that one upside down. And then we're going to go here with, uh, actually, I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab a little Q-tip because we've got some half and halves in here. And I want to see, actually, this is what I'll do. I'll come in here in these little dots. And I'll put these dots in there. So it's for small areas. And then when you wash these, when you wash the paint off, you're going to want to wash it with soap and warm water um, for the stencil if you want to reuse it. So I, I didn't see anybody about, uh, talking about the newsletter. So that either means that um, you're not subscribed to my newsletter I guess that's what it means. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm sure you would have answered me. So if you got my newsletter, let me know. Um, and if you want to be subscribed, then you can just go to beautyandthestamper.com and you'll be able to um, subscribe there. All right, that looked like it worked really well, so I'm going to go ahead and do it again. Just up and down like this. And again, since it's up and down, it hopefully won't go under and into other areas. I know you want to like scrub around to make sure it gets all the lines, but trust me, it's better to just do the up and down like that. And even though you can really see it right now, uh, once I take that paper off from behind, it's going to go much lighter. So, okay, let me see here. Hi, Janice. Thank you. Oh, yeah. I wish I would. Some people are so good at that stenciling, and it makes you me look like I know what I'm doing, but let's see what happens when I'm done. <laughs> and I think with that same blue, I'm going to do these little flowers. And the flowers is the farthest that I'm going to go out. And then we'll put some little gems in there too. So.
and you guys if you could give me a thumbs up on that likes I would appreciate it it really helps out my channel when you guys watch my videos all the way through or when you guys hit like and you share my videos it really helps my channel and I'll tell you right now I need <laughs> I need that help so I've been talking to YouTube because I know a lot of you guys aren't getting um, you guys aren't getting notifications so uh, really bummed me out to hear that all right so now I'm going in with this darker one and this works so well that I can I'm gonna go ahead and do it this way too so and it's just a little different color blue but it makes enough difference just like it did in that plate So, if you didn't get my newsletter, check your spam, just in case. And then, if it happens to be there, just add my add my email as an email that can come to you. And it's my name, jeanpersani at gmail.com. Okay. Yeah, Barbara, if you can check that, that would be awesome. Where is your favorite place to shop? In, in, oh, that's for... One of you other beauties, yay! And you're a subscriber, but have never gotten one. See, that's crazy. You are a subscriber to my newsletter? Because you do have to be signed up. I can't just randomly send it. Otherwise, it is spam, and I don't want that to happen. Thank you guys for the thumbs ups. Oh, and the thumbs down. I love that. But I've got one person who comes on here, checks out my channel all the time, and gives me a thumbs down. Tony and I call that person the thumbs down bandit. <laughs> the thumbs down bandit is an everyday person in my life, and they literally are subscribed just to give me a thumbs down. I can put up a video and I'll have a thumbs down before. I'm like nobody else gets my nobody else gets my notifications, but the thumbs down bandit does. So that's all right. But thank you guys all for the thumbs ups. I appreciate it. I know you guys are all so sweet to me, and in fact, that's what my newsletter was today, just thanking everybody for being such a beauty. Oh, I think we're done. Okay, so let's see how this came out. I'm going to move this off to the side. Well, I'm going to move it over here. So let's see here. Always gives me a thumbs up. Thank you. So Pretty. Oh, thank you, Donna. Oh, getting the notifications. I don't know. I do not know. So I'm glad I put this tape there because, look, this side's already lifting. So this is just post-it tape, so it comes right off. And now we're going to have to pull that off. Look at that. That came out really good. Now, sorry, I'm gonna. I'm just putting this off to the side so that I don't get ink everywhere. And now I'm gonna add some gems to it. Now with these, I'm gonna place them um, properly. <laughs> so I'm gonna get out my. I'm going to go like this, actually. I'm going to take my scissors. And I'm going to cut straight up because I know there's those. There we go. Now, 
that instead of being one long line, it's a bunch of little ones. And I'm going to get my tool because I want nice placement. And I'm going to stick one right there, right in the dead center. Oh, thank you! It Does it take long to dry? Not really. In fact, if I touch that green, which is what we started with, it's all dry already. And I'm going to put in between here. I'm going to put those. Actually, I'm going to move this. It's going to be in. I'm going to put them right in between here. It would be better for me. All right. Hold on. There we go. I'm going to put them right in between these two and bring them together. Oh, so pretty. This is coming out better than I thought. I'm so excited and I'm so glad that I did it live so that you guys could watch with me and be able to converse. Hi, Irva. Hi, Melody. Hi, Sharon. Welcome. I'm so glad you were able to make it to this one. So we're just putting these little gems on here. Now, this is not going to be touched. I don't have like little ones running around or anything like that. So it's not really going to be touched much. I think I'm done. I was going to put some more right here, but I think we're good. I love those dots, the little flowers. So pretty. And now when I take it off, look, it's going to super pretty. So if I wanted to put something in here where I wanted it, this to be shown, I would put a white piece of paper in there. But look, now we're going to flip this over. And we are going to... I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to take off... No, I'm not going to. I'm going to put the hot glue on this lid here. And then we're going to center this right up, and it fits almost perfectly. And look at that. Isn't that so pretty? Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, favorite Steelers fan says hello and that he loves you. Hi, Uncle Phil. I love you too. <laughs> so that was uh, my aunt came on here. Hello, Aunt Rose. Tony's on here too. So your favorite redhead. Isn't that so pretty? I'm so excited for this. I really, really like it. So I'm going to take some pictures and I will do a um, a post here on this social media on YouTube, but I'll also put it on my Beauty and the Stamper Facebook page and Beauty and the Stamper um, Instagram page so that you could see the final results of everything. So... I really like this. I hope you do too. I didn't even get to needing to use these pens, but I thought if I needed to, I could use them. So I could I could go in with a different color and add some dots on here if I wanted to, or if I wanted to, you know, if I had some errors, which I really don't. The flower didn't come out too well on this one, but I'm really okay with it. So I think if I tried to fix it, it would kind of be a little funky. Oh, Sarah, 
You're a redhead too. <laughs> so, you know, I was a redhead as well, but I don't know. Somehow my husband got to be her favorite redhead. I'm okay with it. <laughs> All right, beauties. I think that's it. So let me go over. Here's this. And then we've got this guy that's going to go with it. Don't those match really well? And then we've got this one that also is going to go with it. And then, of course, our inspiration, which came from our plate. And then our upside-down bowl with gems attached to it. So I hope you guys like it. Oh, you're going to make it? That's so cute. I cannot wait. Page, show me yours, please. Send me an email or put it on my Beauty in the Stampers page. All right, beauties. I hope you have a wonderful day or a wonderful evening. Thank you, Sandra. Oh, I'm so glad that I got to see you here. I always, I was just thinking this morning, I love Sandra's comments. She comments on every video and either wishes me a good morning or a good evening or a good weekend, and I love it. Oh, Barbara, thank you for the thumbs up. And Patricia, thank you. You guys, thank you so much again for the thumbs ups that you're giving me and for just all your support. I appreciate it. Okay, you have a good day, Sarah, and I'm going to get going as well. i got to take these pictures and set them up for you and see how you like it. All right, have a wonderful day again. Good night. Bye.